What's good, y'all? This is Kyle with BC. So you could probably guess who I am. In this video, we're going to be looking at 15 old technologies scientists still can't explain. Are you sure they can't explain them? We got some pretty smart people out there nowadays. Probably can't explain how they had it back then, but we'll see. Before we get into this, go down below, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. It's free. It won't hurt you. And you'll be helping me out. I forgot to put the I promise on there. It won't, it won't hurt you. I promise. But yeah, go ahead and do that for me. Let's get this channel blowing up. It's about that time. Uh, but let's get straight into this. Sometimes the oldest inventions are the best. Yeah, archaeologists have uncovered some fascinating artifacts over the centuries. Screen printing. But some of these incredible items only invite more questions, leaving scientists desperately searching for the answers. These mysterious discoveries suggest that our ancient ancestors were more advanced than we originally thought and were capable of creating astonishing objects that we still can't figure out to this day. This is the Lycurgus cup. Kyrgyz was the lawgiver of Sparta. And Lycurgus wanted the Spartans to be tough. This From the world's first computer Sparta. discovered under the sea on an ancient shipwreck <laughs> to the 2,000-year-old battery pack buried beneath the ground, these are the 15 old technology oh, scientists still can't explain. Back then. The Sword of Gujin. The legendary ancient sword of Gujin is a 2,500-year-old blade that was buried amongst the ruins of the Hubei province, China, for thousands of years. Archaeologists unearthed this spectacular sword okay. in 1965, and it quickly became one of the most prized national treasures of China. Shockingly, this epic weapon was found in near-perfect condition without any noticeable damage or even signs of rust. In fact, it was still deathly sharp. The hilt is decorated with the sparkling gems and engraved with mysterious markings that experts can't quite seem to decipher. Nobody knows exactly who this incredible blade belonged to, but one thing's for sure, China is not letting it out of its sight ever again. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Yeah, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Ancient Temples of the Holy Frequency Hidden deep underground in Malta, there is an astonishing secret that will take your breath away. This sacred site is the only prehistoric underground temple in the world and dates back to approximately 3,500 years ago. Yet our ancient ancestors built this magical temple as a place of worship and incredibly they constructed it to resonate at the holy frequency of 111 hertz. Carved out of solid limestone, this epic structure carries an awesome echo and reverberation that will leave you with goose pimples. It's believed an ancient cult goose practiced pimples. their earth-related rituals <laughs> here, bumps. celebrating the cycles of the moon, sun, and seasons. So what does this frequency pimples. have to do with anything? Well, one scientist explains that many prehistoric structures around the world resonate at this frequency, most notably a series of burial mounds in Ireland that he had studied previously. MRI scans have shown that the brown switches of its prefrontal cortex and language center at exactly 111 hertz, allowing humans to enter a deep state of meditation. Pretty amazing, right? It looks like our ancient hmm. ancestors figured that out even without the use of modern technology and even managed to carve their temple so it resonated at that so exact frequency sound in order to help them connect with nature and the universe during that. their rituals. How exactly did they do this? We may never know. <laughs> Probably did it by ear. The Baghdad Battery. The Baghdad Battery, also known as the Parthian Battery, is a mysterious object that's left many scientists scratching their heads. This set of three artifacts includes a ceramic pot, a tube of copper, and a rod of iron, and was discovered in Kujut Rabu, Iraq. Nobody can say for sure exactly when it was made or what it was used for, but there are scientists that genuinely believe that astonishing object may in fact be an ancient battery. Yeah, our ancient ancestors could have invented electric cells at at least 2,000 years before we developed the modern batteries we know today. Researchers have created many replicas of this ancient battery pack to see how it works and have found that it can indeed conduct an electric current. If filled with a weak acid like vinegar or wine, it can actually produce a one-volt charge. But what was this strange device used for? One Some volt. scholars think it might <laughs> have been used to gild metals volt. and jewelry 
whereas some think that it could have been an ancient pain relief machine. However, there is one more mysterious explanation for this battery pack from the year 200 BC. Some scientists believe Shock that this battery there, could have been hidden inside a metal statue standing in a temple, and anyone who touched it would have received a sharp electric shock. This ancient science would have looked like magic to most people, reinforcing the belief that they actually stood inside a holy place. How sneaky! That would make sense. Zhang Hung's seismoscope. Try to manipulate Zhang people Hung was a Chinese religion. scientist and mathematician from the Han Dynasty and became famous for his mysterious seismoscope, a device he invented in the year 132 CE. Fascinated with earthquakes, Hung believed that they were caused by wind and air, even when most people thought they were actually caused by disturbance in the cosmic yin and yang. To prove that he could sense these earthquakes in nature, he invented this ingenious machine that could record disturbances along the Earth's surface. The fascinating device released so a bronze ball from one of the eight ground. dragon heads, which then fell into the mouth of a toad sculpture below, each representing a direction on the compass. Nobody knows exactly how this thing worked, but it's safe to say that this incredible machine was well before its time. On one occasion, the bronze ball was released after there was no earthquake in sight, and it was only a day later that he realized it had been triggered by an earthquake in another Chinese city. Yeah, this thing was super accurate. Damn. They had a damn near 2,000 year old Damascus steel. Characterized by their swirling patterns that look like flowing water, blades made of Damascus steel are said to be resistant to shattering and one of the sharpest swords known to man. If in fact, correctly. these sensational swords were actually the inspiration behind the fictitional Valyrian steel in the Game of Thrones. Yep, Valyrian steel is one of the only substances in Westeros that can actually kill the evil White sword. Walkers. However, the art of forging this ancient steel has been lost forever. In real life, Damascus steel is extremely rare due to the fact that nobody can remember how to make it. Yeah, this ancient art has been forgotten over centuries, and both blacksmiths and scientists have tried to figure out the process in which it was forged, it but itself. to no avail. These epic swords could split a feather in midair and were incredibly sharp. Legend states that the metal was first fed to chickens and harvested from their droppings, and that it was cooled after heating using goat pee. But nobody knows for sure if these crazy techniques are actually true. No, they just some trying experts to get reckon it's only a matter of time weird. before we figure out the secret to making this mysterious 11th century <laughs> metal. So you never know. You might Spray soon be chopping your vegetables pee. using a Damascus kitchen knife. <laughs> The Lycurgus Cup This ancient Roman chalice is not your average cup. Made in the 4th century, it's believed to be one of the first ever examples of humans using nanotechnology. This enchanting green goblet transforms into a deep red under the light, and researchers even reckon it changed the color of the liquid held inside too. That's a pretty neat trick for Roman times. It was crafted using tiny particles of gold and silver, ground down to the 1 to 1,000th the size of a grain of salt, this nanotechnology works with the metal particles reacting to light, causing a sensational shift in color. This astonishing drinking vessel is decorated so. with the image of King Lycurgus, hence the name the Lycurgus Cup, and scientists are still in awe of its shockingly advanced technology to this day. Who knew the Romans were actually nanoscientists? <laughs> Construction of the Sphinx The Great Sphinx of Giza has been baffling archaeologists for decades, this massive statue was carved from one single block of limestone and is a whopping 66 foot tall and 240 feet long. In fact, it's one of the largest and oldest monolithic statues on the planet. Block of this mysterious sculpture represents a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human and was believed to have been worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. But there's still a lot of things we don't know about the Great Sphinx. While many scientists agree this magnificent sculpture was carved in 2500 BC, there are some experts out there that believe it could be even older. They think that the Sphinx was eroded by heavy rainfall dating all the way back to 10,000 BC, meaning the Egyptians could have been around for a lot longer than we originally thought. Not only is there evidence Probably. the Sphinx might be more ancient than we previously believed, but new research has found that these gigantic statues might be sitting on top of a secret network of subterranean chamber tunnels that have been unexplored for thousands of years. Will we ever find out the ancient I secrets of the Sphinx? Discovered or something. Mm -hmm. The Codex so they Gigas, don't know yet sitting in something? the National Library of Sweden in Stockholm, there's a dark and mysterious book that's frightened and perplexed scientists for centuries. Believed to date back to the 13th century, this epic tome is three feet tall and 620 pages long, made from the hide oh. of at least 160 donkeys. 
In fact, the Codex Gigas is the largest known medieval manuscript in the world, so you may be surprised to learn that this humongous book was actually handwritten by one single monk. The Codex contains both New and Old Testaments from the Bible, as well as sinister texts on exorcism, medicine, and many more topics. But the most chilling part of this book is one page in particular. This page contains a full-color, large illustration of <coughs> Satan, differing in style from all the other pages of the book. Yeah, it has another name that sent shivers down the spines of archaeologists for centuries, the Devil's Book. This creepy book is kept the in dark rooms so book. it doesn't become damaged in the light, and weirdly, the last 10 pages have actually been cut out and removed. We don't know why this mysterious monk wrote the manuscript, but experts estimate it could have taken him a whopping 30 years to finish. Yep, as ancient artifacts go, yeah, they, they don't do come much stranger than this. The real question hand. is, are we sure we want to know the secrets Sounds hidden inside like this malevolent manuscript? Show supernatural or something. <laughs> the Devil's Book. Ancient City of Nan Madal. Located on the remote island of Pohnpei, this mind-boggling ancient city is considered to be the Venice of the Pacific. This mysterious network of canals link hundreds of ancient crumbling ruins, the origins of which are still unknown. The ancient city of Nan Madal was built on top of coral reefs over a thousand years ago and is made entirely from gigantic heavy rocks. This World Heritage Site is also referred to as the Ghost City thanks to rumors of restless spirits that haunt the ruins. Mm. The stone walls of Nan Madal are 25 feet tall and 17 feet thick in some parts, and archaeologists can't quite figure out exactly how our ancient ancestors managed to build such epic structures in the middle of the ocean. Was it dark magic or just super skilled workers who had ancient technology advanced beyond its well, years? They may never find workers. out all the hidden secrets of the oh, mysterious damn, Pacific like Island. That talking about some dark magic. <laughs> The Phaistos Disc This mysterious clay disc was found in the Minoan Palace of Phaistos. It might be just under 6 inches in diameter, but it holds a whole lot of mysteries that nobody has been able to solve. This strange 4,000-year-old disc is covered on both sides with a spiral of stamped symbols that have sealed onto the city clay in a clockwise sequence. These symbols seem to represent everyday things we still recognize in modern life, such as a shield, a beehive, and even a man and a woman. But what scientists can't seem to figure out is what all of these means together. The 242 different tokens on this disc are made up of 45 different symbols, and experts think this ancient craftsman used vertical lines to break the symbols up into separate words. But what exactly are those words? Well, it looks like this mystery might never get solved. The most incredible theory experts have is that the disc may contain some kind of prayer to a Minoan goddess based on the few symbols they have deciphered but it looks like it could be at least another 4,000 well, years before they figure out the name. true meaning well, of the Manoa. ancient Phaistos disc. What do you guys think it's going to tell us? Hmm. I don't remember. Incredible Maybe Roman concrete. We're all familiar with concrete. Yeah, our cities are full of concrete and this useful building material can be found just about everywhere. But did you know that the ancient Romans used concrete too? In fact, their concrete is actually considered to be far superior to ours today. Yet Roman concrete was so sturdy and solid that people are starting to ditch modern concrete and go back to the old ways. But what makes it so amazing? Well, it's all in the ancient materials. Romans used volcanic ash, which prevented cracks from spreading, and they were even able to set it under the water. Once placed under the water, a fascinating reaction occurred, making the concrete even stronger. It's thought that Romans were using this to build bridges and marine structures from at least Damn, 150 BC, ash. and some of those constructions are still standing today. Yet yeah, most concrete blocks these days would crumble in a matter of decades, but not Roman concrete. Pretty amazing, right? They even built the world's largest and oldest concrete dome in the world, the famous Pantheon building, using this spectacular Roman concrete. You can add that to the list of things that the Romans have done for us. The Iron Pillar of Delhi This incredible iron pillar has stood 22 feet tall for over 1,600 years, but miraculously, it's never seemed to rust. That's right, this shiny ancient pole dates all the way back to 375 AD and is made from such pure iron that scientists can't explain how they cast it without using modern technology. Located in Delhi, India, this mysterious landmark is considered by some to be an out-of-place artifact, known in conspiracy circles as an upa. This strange towering pillar is thought to be proof of sophisticated technology place, dating all the way back to ancient times. Nothing and many believe that this mysterious civilization must have had access pole. to super advanced tools and knowledge in order to cast a 99.9999% iron structure such it. as this one. The fact that it's never gone rusty, even after a thousand years, has baffled scientists to say the least. So what do you guys think of this iron pillar of Delhi? 
Is it the work of an ancient super technology or is it just an example of excellent craftsmanship? You can let us know in the comment section below. Hmm. <laughs> ancient technology. Gobekli Tepe. The astonishing Gobekli Tepe is believed to be the world's first ever temple. There is only one problem. Scientists have no idea exactly what it is our ancient ancestors were worshipping. This phenomenal 11,000-year-old structure is so old that it <laughs> predates the wheel, like they were pottery, and most known tools. We so, have no idea what exactly they, they were worshipping. The stone columns of a Gobekli Tepe are a whopping 16 feet tall and weigh a back-breaking 10 tons each. There's no doubt about it, this would have been one difficult construction project without tools or machinery. To make matters more complicated, archaeologists have Holy uncovered over 100,000 animal bones beneath the stone circle, suggesting this would have been some kind of sacrificial altar. Not only that, but they were carved with ancient drawings of scorpions, vultures, and even lions, long before the written word was even invented. And researchers have only just scratched the surface, literally. It's thought there could be many acres left to excavate, and over a dozen more stone circles buried under the ground. This has to be one of the most mysterious places on Earth. I wouldn't say that. Indecipherable Voynich sure Manuscript. This mind-blowing medieval book has been bamboozling cryptologists for over 600 years. This rare and that. mysterious tome is written in an indecipherable language that even the world's greatest code breakers can't seem to crack. This coded pattern of letters was created way back in the 15th century and is believed to have originated from somewhere in Central Europe. It's made from 246 extremely delicate pages crafted from velum, an animal skin used for ancient writing. What is the Voynich manuscript actually about? Well, no one knows for sure, but there are some clues. This bizarre book contains pictures and diagrams of castles, dragons, plants, astronomical symbols, and even planets, all colored with green, brown, yellow, blue, and red ink. Experts reckon that the manuscript may be divided into six unique sections, biological, cosmological, pharmaceutical, astronomical, That's herbal, and finally, recipes. Well, yeah, this book sure contains book. a lot of secrets. Who knows what we might learn when cryptozoologists finally crack the code? The Antikythera Mechanism When an ancient shipwreck was recovered from the Aegean Sea, the last thing they expected to find was a 2,000-year-old computer. Yet the Antikythera Mechanism is one of the most mysterious and mind-boggling machines known to man. Oh, this incredible yeah. relic of ancient technology was believed to have been operated by spiritual leaders, or perhaps shaman, and seemed to serve the purpose of predicting astrological events. Okay, so they weren't browsing the web or watching YouTube, but that's still pretty Predicting? impressive for a computer built thousands of years ago. It's covered in mysterious symbols that can't be deciphered, and it's thought that the Antikythera mechanism can actually record planetary movements within one degree. That's remarkably accurate for a machine this old. Researchers still haven't discovered all its uses, and without any record of it ever existing, there's a slim chance they ever will. The secrets of this Was ancient computer have most likely sunk something? to the bottom of the ocean along with the shamans who used it. Are these epic technologies lost forever? Or do you have faith that modern science can crack the case? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also... See, on a few of those, they know how they made them. So, I mean, so you just thought everybody back then was dumb or something? Like, of course, there's going to be smart people back then that can figure shit out. Give them more credit than that. Damn. But anyways, interesting video. I liked it. Uh, if you have not already, go ahead and go down below. Hit that subscribe button. It won't hurt you. I promise. It's free. And it will help me out. Once again, let's get these numbers up there. Um, like this video, as you already should have. And then voice your comments, concerns, and thoughts down below. Suggestions for future videos are also appreciated. Even if I don't do them, the suggestions are appreciated. Uh, and I will get back to y'all. Until next time, y'all. Take it easy.